So we're at 198 Reynolds Road today, gonna to go a quick walk through after the home open. It was a busy home open today. There's a lot going on in this property. So I thought I'd do this video just to give everyone, one who missed out the, the full tour of downstairs. <clears throat> so before we get there though, this is the front, a lockable gate, nice large brick wall here. It really takes away the Reynolds Road aspect. Lovely front yard, well landscaped. Now this is a boat wash down bay if you want it to be. That's why you've got your handy drainage down the end here or a car bay, whatever you need. Lovely front yard. Let's go have a good look at this from the front. Great facade. Original 1960s home, plenty of renovations over the years. Welcome. Nice large entry, timber doors. Creates a good feel when you've got a nice wide entry to walk into. All right, kitchen off to the left, informal meals area. Feature lighting throughout the home. Kitchen's really tidy, really new appliances. So we've got a cement cooktop here, 900 mil. Westinghouse pie cleans, ovens, and we've got a dual oven actually. Bar fridge, normal fridge. trays <laughs> and then we've got separate dining display shelves here more feature lighting <clears throat> we've got uh, ducted air conditioning throughout separate lounge room at the front this is a large space ceiling fans as well nice outlook out to the front as you can see okay so we've, we've, we've only covered a quarter of the house. We've got kind of three separate living spaces. Come back through to the bedroom wing. Really large bedrooms through here, as you can see. Okay, linen cupboards, another large bedroom. Ceiling fan in here, pendant lighting, air conditioning, lots of cabinetry. And again, another bedroom here. Large bedroom, ceiling fans, cupboards. TV comes with the house. Another bedroom here. More cupboards. Ceiling fan, aircon. Right, so we look at the main bathroom upstairs. Renovated, lovely shower head. Look at that. Really nice and clean in here. It's top notch. Okay. I'll take you downstairs. There's a lot going on here. Now, before I get downstairs, if you want to connect downstairs to upstairs, we can get a stairwell right here, and that will connect you straight away without losing too much space. So, walking out the alfresco, we get down to the back area, down these stairs. Now, there's a lot going on down here. So you've got two garages, one, two. Big workshop at the end of this one. And we've got this living space down here, which is essentially really a multifunctional space. Bedroom, guest bedroom, games room, studio, music room, office, anything you want. So that stairwell that I was talking about, you can connect to the upper floor is right here. Straight up there, circular stairwell, so you don't lose too much space. You're not cutting through concrete, so it's quite cheap. We've got this wall put in as a stud frame, so you can easily swap the opening from this side over to that side, and that will still give you access to this large study nook or robe or store space, whatever you want it to be. Now, there is a laundry and a bathroom just beyond this wall through the garage. If you want to connect to it, straight through these doors, just a simple cutout, and you're straight into your laundry, all your plumbing's there, turn it into an ancillary dwelling, true guest suite, whatever you want, very easy to do. Let's go have a look at that. So there's your laundry at the moment, but get that cutout wall into here, direct access into your living space, then direct access from your living space into your, into your upper floor. All your plumbing's here if you want to turn this into your walk-in, uh, sorry, your ensuite. A lot cheaper to do when you're not having to recut pipes. And then we do have your second bathroom here at the end, which would probably be better suited to toilet line this door um, as a laundry. Instead, let's swap it over. And lastly, just take you through to the other garage. There's a lot going back, a lot going on back here as well. 
large workshop at the end of this garage. As you can see, plenty of space in here for storage. You're never going to run out of storage. But the most important thing I think is this area connects to that other living space. You could get another bedroom down here. There's no doubt about it. You pay for it, of course, but the space is there. All your infrastructure is there, ready to go. That's about it, guys. Any other questions, just let me know.